my name is John Nguyen. I, I, in this presentation, I would like to present um, uh, our work on video-based identification and classification of cattle behaviors. And this uh, sub-project is supported by the science uh, and industry in the Oman Fund. From the background um, image, um, in, the, in fact, it's actually an output from uh, a deep network uh, pipeline uh, from this network that we can, uh, from a video frame, we can uh, identify individual cows and um, the action or the behavior that I um, that uh, they're doing and with the confidence. Um, so these slides again show the supply chain uh, uh, cycle uh, from uh, farm to uh, consumer. Uh, within the supply chain cycle, my work focus on um, the cattle on farm. And particularly, uh, again, uh, as earlier today, Phil Valencia introduced uh, that we are building automatic farm prominence. So this presentation focus on the So we focus on um, uh, the problem of capturing data um, for the uh, cattle behavior on farm. So in this project, we want to extract uh, information from video and to label um, uh, behavior uh, information uh, on the uh, signals from inertial uh, sensor. Um, then the such labeled uh, data can be used later on um, to train uh, behavior classification just from uh, this uh, such signal at low cost. So to extract uh, cow ID and behavior from video, we could do manual annotations or automatic annotations by deep networks, or both by human annotation, part of the data, and train a deep network, which then uh, do the remaining uh, heavy lifting work. Data collection. Uh, the experiment was done at uh, Ciesero Amadeo site in New South Wales. Yeah. And every day, a different batch of 25 by 25 uh, meter area um, is selected and uh, released the cows to graze in. Um, so you see that there are eight cows with different painted IDs to differentiate them because they all are black cows, very similar. And there uh, were seven GoPro camera, three at around the water trough here, and four at the four corners. The recording was done eight hours a day for eight days and resulted in five terabytes of raw data. The bottom row shows um, the three camera views, left, middle, and right. Um, and we can see that the middle camera, we, um, the cows separate, uh, uh, can be seen separately uh, quite nicely. So we focus on this camera for a drinking uh, event annotation. So this setup aimed to um, obtain the ground through labeling, la label data. However, it uh, can be used for other purposes as well, such as shy feeding monitoring. So we develop our own tools for data annotation and um, create a new data set. So there are two tasks, annotation tasks here. The first one is cow ID with bottom box. So you can um, tell uh, what, it, what cow and where um, it is in, in an image. The second annotation task is uh, cow behavior annotation with time duration. So you can say uh, what cow doing what from what time to what time. So the top video. So, Play. Oh, it doesn't play. Oh, sorry, something wrong with the video. So, um, so the top one show the bottom box, and the bottom show uh, for. Show the the video frame with the annotation uh, of behavior shown a subtitle. For what a trial camera, we uh, annotate three actions: drinking, grazing, and other actions. Um, and the four corners uh, cameras, um, we annotate um, uh, more um, actions, including drinking, grazing, ruminating, resting, etc. Oh, so now it's doing. 
just a video uh, showing the uh, the annotation uh, or the the label data. So when we uh, did the annotation, we came across a number of technical challenges. The first thing is that um, it's not easy to distinguish different um, behaviors uh, from just the look of the uh, uh, the, the cow. Uh, for example. Um, uh, grazing versus standing, resting versus ruminating. So as a result, it is difficult to train computer to distinguish such uh, similar action as well. Um, it's also sometimes also it's difficult to tell exactly when uh, uh, is the transition between one behavior to another, such as when the cow put its head to the water trough, when exactly it drinks and when it stops. Uh, we cannot see exactly clearly from uh, this uh, far away uh, distance. Also, the a cow could be occluded or hidden behind other cows or uh, from its own body. A workaround solution is that we can select a different camera view um, to have a better look, but it's also we risk of uh, duplicating the effort, uh, annotating uh, multiple time of the same cow. For cow identification, we choose this particular uh, deep network uh, model, Cascade RCNN network. Common network, uh, common object detection architecture such as Yo, uh, YOLO, that uh, quite famous in um, computer vision uh, and machine learning, uh, can work very well uh, for distinct objects. However, for objects or um, animals of the same kind, like uh, different fish or between different cows, church network uh, fail to see small differences between these uh, similar uh, animal. So we choose this network because it worked well for um, uh, our data set and we uh, train the network and get very well um, um, good conversion during, during training and very good performance, 88% uh, accuracy and 91% recall. For behavior identification, we choose temporal segment um, network or TSN uh, because this network again work reliably on our data set. Uh, we also try other networks such as your world, which uh, would um, uh, work very well with um, data sets such as uh, sport, different sport actions. But for cows behavior, like I uh, talked before, uh, as different actions could look uh, very similar uh, to each other. So we obtain quite a uh, good performance for, for drinking, 84%, uh, grazing 94%. Other here is uh, the accuracy is low because um, the data is uh, a mix of grazing and other. So this is expected. But uh, the action behavior that we focus on is drinking um, behavior. So to combine uh, cow ident um, ID um, and uh, behavior identification or classification, we um, put them uh, into um, a pipeline that possess an input, uh, an Im image as an input, and the output as the ID behavior and behavior. So basically, uh, uh, we take a, a video frame from a camera or um, a video file and pass it through a cow ID detector which produce a number of um, multiple um, cow IDs and bounding boxes. And for each bounding box, we crop um, a one minute video uh, duration, such that it contain only a single cow. Then we pass it through behavior detector and so that we obtain behavior together with the cow ID. So this video show the output of such um, pipeline. You see the uh, confidence of cow ID detection is shown here, and this is the three uh, behavior with the confidence. Uh, to scale this project, we identified two major works to be done. So let's consider the case where we have unlimited number of cows, not just eight cows as in this um, project. So we cannot apply the same strategy that we uh, use in this project. So to extend to unlimited number of cows, we can do 2D or 3D tracking uh, from uh, 
such a camera view or uh, with multiple cameras and then compare with similar tracking using GPS um, sensor from the uh, collar on cow um, neck. And then from that, we can match up and we can tell which cow is which. Um, also, um, currently the second um, uh, challenge or you know, future work is uh, to deal with large amount of data. Currently we are drowned in large amount of data coming from different uh, sensor streams. So we want a tool that uh, allow us to visualize all these synchronized data stream in one place. So for example, we, uh, we want to know uh, from which camera view we can see a, a better a particular cow or what cow has been annotated and what cow has not. After spending three days at the farm uh, with the cows, I realized that they are not just meat, they are really lovely, lovely creatures and um, they deserve our attention and good care. Thank you. Thank you, Chung. That was lovely, um, really useful presentation. Just to remind uh, people that are watching, if you'd like to ask any questions, please just pop them into the chat. Um, I have a couple of questions already um, around the, um, we talked earlier about the smoke and mirrors that may occur when uh, research uh, does work and puts the criteria around it uh, to allow that to occur and how can I have confidence that this is available. So my first question is, you've got numbers painted on the cows. Um, is that how you identify them? <laughs> yes, that's a good question, uh, Sky. The, uh, the number we painted on the body of the cows, um, in fact, we just, we can just put any um, uh, writing that difference between uh, one writing to another. Uh, we do not actually read the number on the body of the cows. In fact, this is if we can do that, potentially uh, every cow, if we write different number, we can extract uh, that number and say, okay, that, so that's allow us to extend to, um, to a larger number of cows. However, there's some uh, limited uh, limitation uh, for that um, purpose. Uh, is is I, I don't think that uh, from uh, confidence to pen all the cows and different writing will uh, cause different uh, difficulty uh, for digit uh, recognition. So the solution is to use not to pen uh, numbers on cows, but to use different uh, approach um, for a larger uh, collection of cattle. Thanks. Um, yeah, good to know. We've had branding in the past, but we don't necessarily want to go back to that. Um, another question that I've got for you is, um, what's our capability or um, confidence that we can tackle some of the challenges that you've highlighted in the future works? Um, yes, we, we um, the, the future work that we uh, uh, come up with. In fact, it based, uh, they are based on our experience um, by working uh, in the uh, doing research in the area of uh, computer vision and uh, data 3D visualization. So we have the capability to do um, uh, to solve these two challenges in uh, dealing with a larger number of cows, as well as dealing with um, uh, visualizing a huge amount of data with uh, different types. Uh, of uh, data sources. So um, if we continue this project and we um, have uh, time, then we definitely can um, achieve uh, those um, goals. Excellent. Thank you. Um, thank you for your time. I'm going to have to call it to a close now.